All right, welcome folks. This is the racingear.com and this is the first time I'm going to try to talk through the photos that I took. I went to the 2019 David Love Memorial at Sonoma Raceway and here we're at I just got in and this is the Pooper. This is the half Cooper and half Porsche. There's a video that I made that has the Pooper doing its warm-up stuff, which I thought was really cool. So I get in there and I'm in the garage basically this is the jeff swart porsche 9 uh 911 rsr here's the other stuff in the garage and there's this um pc car from the american Le Mans series that's there and uh love to see the flat six of the porsche engine and then went and parked and then i saw that there is these assortment of british cars mostly these are mgs and austin healy's i love the frog eye this is a frog eye here and then I'm down at the pits with the uh, Formula Fords, and this is Nicholas Hunziker, and he's an avid Formula Ford driver, and I got to meet him later, and he is, uh, he does all the stuff like that. And then my friend Becky Pengraff, who always gives me beads whenever she sees me, she's awesome, love Becky, and it's great to see her at these events, and she's so happy, and her husband Bob is a photographer for Grassroots Motorsports. And then here's the Formula Fords again, getting ready to go out for their session. And I thought this one was interesting, had a polka dot helmet. So the next session was the uh, Pooper group. And here's the Pooper coming in. And here's a cool little uh, 356 Porsche. And I love the Formula Vs, and I wish I saw more of them. And uh, especially the, uh, I love the Volkswagen air-cooled sound. And uh this was nice to see this Formula V here, and then I got a shot from behind it where it was it was cool just to get behind it and to listen to what it sounded like. Not very menacing of a sound, but it's still sort of reminiscent of the childhood, and this is, I would suppose, it's the, uh, the Volkswagen Beetle engine that's in these uh, Formula Vs. And there used to be so many more of them when I was a kid, but now you'd only see this one and a couple others. And here I am on the pit grit, or on the hot pits. And this next one is the Maserati Birdcage. And I got some photos of this car up close later. And I think this one here is a Lotus and next to the Formula V. And here they are all lined up on grid, ready to go out for their session. Now these next cars, uh, Peter Giddings passed away last year, who was an avid uh, collector and uh, racer of these historic pre-war automobiles. And... I, I'm I'm not an expert in these, but these are Alfa Romeos, and then there's a uh, this De Delage, I think is the name of the car, which is really cool to see. And then this is, I had a photo with Peter Giddings and and his dog Marmaduke here, and this is the exhaust pipe, I think of the of the Delage. Um, here's the Alfa Romeo here. So it was great to see these cars. So here's uh, Locke de Bretville's car, and this is the Pallister Winkleman car. And here's some cars in the garage. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, this looks to be a, a Lola Can-Am car with the uh, massive Can-Am engine. That's really awesome. It was really cool to see this car on track. I love to see these up close and personal in the garage. I love taking pictures of these, these wheels, too. But um, there's a little... Uh, I think that's a Brabham. So... Next one is, uh, I got to see Locke de Bretville again, and he's such a hilarious character. He's the president of the CSRG, and here he is giving me the the little eye there. But I, I got to meet Nicholas Hunziker, and I saw um, Howden Ganley in the garage, and I met a few other folks from Pacifica, California, uh, Jennifer and Eric, who really recommend the Taco Bell in Pacifica. So here's that Lola up again. I'm pretty sure it's a Lola. And here's a Lola T294 that didn't see any track action. Um, I think this is a Brabham as well. I love seeing these older sort of cars, the Formula cars. I, I, I like seeing the long shot of all the cars in the garage. And just up close with all these engines and mechanics working on them. Yeah, this one's an Alfa Romeo from behind an Alfa. Um, I don't know what car this is, but it's cool to see with a nice... Nice uh, rear. Um, here's a little Formula Atlantic car that Bobby Rahal drove. Another car 
from that time and, and this these two were having a conversation around this I think I, I, I love saying the word Ralt. It's a Ralt RT4. And then here's a uh, Porsche 911 that sounded pretty good on track. Now this is the bird cage, the Maserati bird cage, which I thought is really cool. It's not, it's only like a four cylinder engine from what I understand in it, but it's the spark plugs make it double plugged. But I guess these are uh, Weber intakes or whatever they call them, carburetors. I guess the I guess they call it a bird cage because of the uh, the structural uh, design of the car. It's just so interesting to see close up. It's really, uh, really fascinating. So here's that Maserati again. I think those are Weber carburetors, if I'm not mistaken. Somebody will say something later. I don't know. But this is a historic piece. I think it's from the mid to late 60s. And you got the spike spoke, or the spoke wheels, which is really nice to see. And doesn't the car doesn't make a lot of noise, but it's just so elegant to see on, on track and up close. And then you see the right-hand driving position of the uh, the bird cage, and uh, just really, really fascinating to see. Really fascinating car to see. Um, I think this is a regular um, attendee to the uh, CSRG events. And then that's the that's the fuel box, or that's the uh, <laughs> that's where the fuel goes. <laughs> These are all going so fast. I've had to, to long, elongate these pictures. So there's the exhaust pipe, pretty large, but doesn't really make a lot of noise. But it's still nice to see this car being out there. Um, nice side-mounted side pod exhaust pipe really makes it really nice. And then we have all of the stickers from all the events that this car has been to. It's been to Monterey, it's been to Sonoma, it's been to probably, well, here, here's where it's all been. So it's great to see this car. <clears throat> and what else do we got here? <clears throat> this appears to be some sort of air intake that I'm not too sure about. These are those double plugs I was telling you about. I don't know how it works, but it's each cylinder has two, two spark plugs. That's the structural thing. And this is the Jaguar E-Type that I met the owner. It sort of likes, looks like that Lilo and Stitch uh, vehicle that Stitch got away in. But just such an elegant uh, representation of the Jaguar E-Type from 1964. And here's a door off of the pooper. And here's Jeff Zwartz and 911 RSR again. I, I don't know if him and Cameron Healy share this car or not, but um, it's really cool to see. Love this flat six engine. Just love any Porsche at these events. There's really a treat because you don't see many of them anymore. This is a really interesting exhaust pipe that I got a, uh, a close-up with. It just that's, that's what they do. That's what it is. And here's some information on the pooper. And I got to see Bob and Becky and, sorry, the other gentleman. I don't know your name. But it was great to see them. This is the Datsun 240Z that I always see um, at these events. I love seeing it. It's such a loud, straight six sounding engine that just sounds great. Uh, Bruce Canepa used to take care of this car, but I think it's uh, in other hands right now. But it's really great to see this car at events. There was a Jim Frula used to have a Nissan Skyline uh, from 1972 and. He doesn't have that car anymore, but this is a really, really awesome sounding car. Just loud, very, very loud. It's really elegant, really nice. There's the really loud exhaust pipe, the straight pipes. So there's a 356 here. And then we see a new car, which is a Ferrari. I don't know what it is, but it's a Ferrari. It's, it's smiling at me. And then here's a beautiful uh, 356. And then we get into the um, John Norman pit where we have the beautiful GTV that's always at these events. And this is, uh, gosh, it's the outfit that does all the Alfa Romeos. It's, the, it's an Italian name and I can't think of it now. But here's a little, little tiny MG that it's really cool to see with that one. Now this car I saw and was like, oh, this was on the Grand Tour this year with Jeremy driving it in Scotland. It's a Alfa Romeo GTV6. Where Jeremy claims that it was the best sounding Alfa Romeo that he's ever owned. And the best fun to drive. 2.5 liter. 
Just great. And this is John Wachter's 914.6 that I got a ride in a few years ago at the Charity Challenge. I love seeing this car. Didn't get to see it on track. But this car, this 935 that I saw at this event, was so awesome to see. And it was driven by a guy that's actually an actor from Brazil that uh, has this car now. And this was his first outing with it. And I'm going to put a video together of this car starting up and idling and doing all of its great noises. You never... It, 935s are get starting to be rare and it's awesome to see this 935 with the momo liveried and this is awesome and here's a singer porsche that i got to see and i made some new friends uh jennifer and eric from uh pacifica who recommend the taco bell there and here's the back of the singer and here's another one with the 914.6 so and then we have this uh, Capri. I think it's a Ford Capri, if I'm not mistaken. Looks beautiful, but the uh, I don't know if it's a, a restoration sort of a car or if it's a car that was turned into a race car. I it the driver was driver was anyway. Uh, here's Formula Atlantic, and then this uh, Vashek Polak um, uh, 911s thing there. Here's the back of the 935 that I just love very much. And the 914.6. So rare to see any of these cars again. And then here's the engine bay of the 935 that I just love seeing. And a couple of 356s. There we go. And we I was at turn two with uh, these 935. The 935 and the 911 going through. It just sounded great. Really a lot of kick on that car that 935 anyway we had the uh the after day uh little dinner party that they brought these cars in to have everybody mrs giddings was there and so thanks for watching the racing year we'll see you next time